So here's yet another short story about yet another open marriage that ends badly. However, in this situation, the husband, as you're going to find out, had no idea that he was in open marriage. The wife was in open marriage, but she didn't exactly tell him, and it slipped out, and you're going to see that. And as these things usually go, it doesn't end well for the wife, as this guy handles it uh, quite well, and you're going to see more where I get into that. And again, guys, open marriage, I bring it up, it's over, kick her out, move on, end of story. Title, my wife of 17 years had an open relationship without me knowing about it. It says, so I'm 45 years old and have been with my wife, also 45, for 17 years. We have a beautiful 15-year-old daughter together and own our own business together. Needless to say, we built a life together. For our 17th wedding anniversary, I took her to a beach resort in Malibu for the night. When we checked into our room, she was super excited about the quality of the room and exclaimed, wow, I can't wait to take Tommy here. And I'd be like, excuse me? Confused, I asked who Tommy was, and she casually said, Oh, just this guy I've been seeing. At first, I thought she was joking and realized she was serious. She said she thought we had an open relationship. You gotta be kidding me. Thought you had an open relationship? What do you want to bet that she's she's obviously cheating with a guy named Tommy? That uh, it slipped out, and then, and then she just changed her tune and said, Oh, well, you know, we were an open relationship. Yeah, sure. And by the way, guys, I did some homework in this in the comment section. The guy said she has no history of mental illness or anything like that. She's really just awful. She said, and I quote, I know we never explicitly talked about it, but I assume you'd be okay with it given how comfortable you are with me talking about hot guys in the movies. Um, her talking about her movie crushes and guys that she would have a hall pass with that are movie stars, which would never happen. It's not the same as saying, oh, you my permission of open marriage. What a load of crap. Oh, my God. These words baffled me. How my usually intelligent wife could come up with such a ridiculous logic. Um, she came up with this ridiculous logic because she is that intelligent. She then said that she, needs, that, she, that she has needs that weren't being satisfied. And she thought opening the relationship would help us grow as a couple. You know, they all get that from some article or book. Grow as a couple. There's no growing as a couple when you invite other people into our marriage and you cheat and all that. Because that's what it is, just glorified cheating. But yes, and he hasn't had a chance to uh, have, have a say in all this or hook up with other women. Oh, no, no, no. And if you want to uh, work on the marriage, you actually work on the marriage, not that way. I explained to her that it only works when we both know about it and agree to it. Something I would never would agree to. She ended, she ended uh, and left the hotel and went back home. Our 15-year-old daughter got in a fight with her about cheating and is giving her the cold shoulder. Ooh. Now the daughter knows. Teenage daughter, very emotional, very hormonal daughter knows the mother is hurting daddy. And that daughter will hate her with the fire of ten sons. I came home the next day to grab my things and tell her I wanted a divorce. And we had another fight where she claimed she never meant to hurt me. And she just wanted us to grow as a couple. She is sticking to the story. What a load of crap. Never meant to hurt you. Um, that's why you never brought it up. And it slipped out accidentally and you try to cover yourself. I left to go to a motel for the night as I need to think. Um, kick her out. He says, uh, as a night of people have told me to leave the hotel and go back home from a legal standpoint, I decided to take their advice. Now with his update, he says here, I took your guys' advice last night and left the hotel. I went home and demanded my wife to leave instead of as it's my house and she's the one who messed up. You're darn right. Why are you leaving? She can leave. She was upset and we had a big fight. She said she had nowhere to go and couldn't get a hotel room this late. Um, yes, you can. You can get a hotel room at any freaking time. I smiled and said I had already had one conveniently booked for her. It was the same hotel room from before. <laughs> I told her where it was and she packed her bags and left begging me not to throw our, our years away for one silly mistake. Um, he's the one throwing the marriage away. She's the one that threw it away by cheating. And I don't want to hear this, oh, open marriage to help us both grow crap. No. She's cheating. She's having an affair. She's the one that threw it away. But I like how it's always twisted around. The guy is the one ruining things because he's, God forbid, standing up for himself. I told her that she was the one, in fact, throwing, throwing our years away for a silly mistake. It's not a mistake. It was a well-chosen action she did. 
My daughter saw me this morning and gave me a big hug and said, It's okay, Dad. And with this, I start crying in front of her, something I had never done before. Oh, that daughter's going to hate that mother. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Before, I'm writing this on my lunch break, and after work, I'll be uh, scouring the internet for a good divorce lawyer and then making contact. So that was the end of his brief situation here. But again, you can't make this crap up here. And, I, and I'm not surprised. Oh, I thought you knew. Or I thought you wouldn't mind we'd be an open marriage. I hope you didn't mind me hooking up with this dude or multiple dudes or something like that to grow as a couple. That is the biggest load of crap. And I can see these articles from various blogs or magazines convincing these boneheads that this is a good way. And actually, the thing is, obviously, this woman is not dumb. But she's obviously uses an excuse to get what she wants. Does that sound like someone that loves her husband, loves her daughter? No. And I want to point out, she isn't just cheating on her husband, she's cheating on her daughter too. And like I said, that daughter is going to hate her with the fire at 10 suns after all this. Now some comments here. One guy says, your wife definitely did the do it and ask for forgiveness later type of deal. Yeah, she definitely knew what she was doing and thinks you're gullible enough to go, go along with it. Good luck with the divorce proceedings. I don't see this being an easy one. Well, he said Malibu, so they're in California. Therefore, since it's a no-fault divorce state, it's not going to matter what she was doing. Another guy says, I don't know if it's audacity or stupidity to just never discuss an open relationship with your spouse after 17 years. Then just casually throw the name of their lover out there while you were on a trip for your anniversary. I'm so sorry, dude. Go claim your house and spend time with your daughter. Redders are here supporting you and wishing you the best of luck. Yeah, for once, the writers are actually supporting this guy. Another one. What kind of sane human will think it's okay to have open marriage without telling your partner and agreeing on it? I think she's cheating and she slipped up by telling you about Tommy and had to find an excuse. She came up with a story and her friends probably knew about it. I guarantee you she had at least one female friend that knows about this. Guarantee. Because she's used to telling someone about him. That's why she slipped up and talked. My advice, don't leave your home and file for divorce. You don't know how many guys she cheated with and for how long she only regret after getting getting not getting not her cheating. The fact that she's telling you she thought you'd be okay is effed up. You're darn right effed up. Another one, don't leave the house. It's a marital asset and you need to keep living there. You need to be there to support your daughter. You need to think long-term and very strategic here. You can cry later, but for right now, you got to be cold and merciless. Put your daughter first as she's going to need a solid figure in her life and that person is you. Yeah, a lot of times if the guy leaves the house, that can look bad to him in the court. And he's got to be there and be strong for his daughter, you know, because the daughter does need the rock because the mother isn't a rock by any means. She's just a solid rock of crap. That's what she really is. Like a dung beetle rolled up a bunch of poo. That's, that's what she is. But this guy's got to be strong and he's got to be prepared to go uh, scorched earth to protect himself, particularly living in California. Another one says here, nine times out of ten when open relationships happen, one party just uses an excuse to cheat, and the other party will be left to uncomfortably go along with it. But I guarantee you, if you were to play her game and start seeing other women and getting more play than her too, she would immediately lose her mind and want to close the relationship back up again. It always happens. I'm sorry you experienced this, OP. Good luck on your divorce. Yeah, that's how it usually goes. Wife brings it up, the guy goes along with it, and then often right away she has dudes or multiple dudes because she already has guys already. And oftentimes the guy will find some just one woman that he wants to be with because he's a monogamous guy. They hit it off, and when the wife realizes that, uh oh, I'm gonna lose this guy, then she wants to close the open open marriage, open relationship. And often by then the guy's like, Nope, not happening, we're done. And then she's crying about it on social media and, and Reddit and all that, and you've heard those. In fact, I covered one earlier today. So anyway, guys, uh, there you go. Open marriage, but he didn't know he was in it.